Hi everyone, thank you for joining me for this video. Today I'm going to be reviewing two products from the Tarte Complexion Collection, which I mentioned in my last haul video. Um, this kit I got from Sephora, and it's basically a combination of pressed powder, liquid foundation, concealer, and primer. So specifically today I'm going to talk about the Tarte Smooth Operator Oil-Free Foundation with SPF 20, this one right here, and the Tarte Eraser Concealer. So first off, I'm going to talk about the Oil-Free Foundation with SPF 20. And, uh, I use this um, every day for a couple of weeks and I really like it because it is a great time saver in the mornings especially if you don't want to spend 20 minutes doing you know moisturizer, foundation primer, sunscreen, face powder, settling powder, you know all that stuff because this already contains SPF 20 and I think it's perfect for this end of the summer season there's still some sun outside but it's not as bad as during the summertime so SPF 20 kind of ha has you covered in that respect. And it goes on really lightweight and very smooth. And it finishes powdery light so that if you want to skip powder, you can. But if you want to set it with some face powder, that would be good too. It will definitely help the makeup stay on better. Um, what I like most about this is, aside from the application and the finish, is that it's relatively natural. For those of you who are anal about what you're putting on your face every day, this uh, has a list of ingredients, but it is paraben-free, propylene glycol-free, sulfate-free, phthalate-free, mineral oil-free, fragrance-free, and synthetic dye-free. So I wouldn't quite label this as organic because it contains titanium dioxide and some other um, ingredients that may not necessarily be USDA certified organic, but it's relatively natural. And as far as liquid foundations go, this is probably as close to organic as you are going to get with this type of makeup and in this type of collection. So. Other things about this is hypoallergenic, oil-free, water-resistant, vitamin-rich. Uh, it has ginkgo and ginseng and antioxidants, vitamins A, C, and E, and uh, extremely hydrating. So I highly recommend this, especially if you get lazy in the morning and just want to put something on your face, which is totally me on most mornings. So uh, Next, I'm going to talk about the the eraser, the concealer, and uh, it looks like this. I gave it a couple of twists earlier today, and um, one of the things I don't like about this concealer is that it very much resembles the um, Stila lip glaze pens. I mean, you twist the bottom, and then the product works its way up here to the brush, just like just like the lip glaze. And the problem that I have with it is that when I was using it earlier, for some reason, if you don't twist enough, nothing comes out. But if you twist too much, this is what happens. You get it everywhere, and now it's all over my hand and all over the box. And uh, that may not necessarily bother me so much. What bugs me the most about this concealer pen is the smell. This product, it has a really strong fragrant smell. I mean, this um, Luca Foundation has a faint smell. It has a very faint smell, and it kind of goes away after you apply it. The concealer does not. I mean, this is a line eraser. You're supposed to be able to put it like under your eyes, around your nose, around your mouth. This smell is really annoying, and I cannot stand it. I cannot stand having this on my face all day and smelling it, so. Needless to say, I used it once or twice and henceforth stopped using it for obvious reasons. Um, 
far as the ingredients go with this one, it's definitely not as natural or as organic as the liquid foundation. This one has, let's see, propylparaben, methylparaben, and titanium, di titanium dioxide, iron oxides, and prop propylene carbonate, and just a lot of things that you probably wouldn't expect to see in a natural cosmetic product. So, based on that, I don't particularly, I'm not particularly impressed with the concealer. Although I am extremely impressed with the oil-free liquid foundation. So, I mean, as a kit, as part of a kit, these two, you're supposed to be able to use them together. Unfortunately, the concealer is just not working out for me. So, but the liquid foundation works well by itself. I mean, you can put it under your eyes, you can put it in, around your nose. Certainly, um, the texture is obviously different from the concealer, but I definitely recommend this product, but not so much the concealer pen. So I hope this was helpful, and I will follow up this video with reviews of the other products in the Tarte Complexion Collection. Thank you for joining me.